All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from behind me, I'm here with the Titleist tour truck here at the open. Now, we've actually got some access to quite a few tour trucks this week. You might have already seen some on the channel, but today we're having a proper tour around the Titleist tour truck. I'm excited about this one, because don't forget there's obviously drivers, irons, wedges, putters, golf balls, the whole shebang. First off, just appreciate this tour truck. I mean, look at that. It even comes out the side, and if, from memory, I'm sure, can I just see the license plate, fellas? Look at that for a license plate. That's pretty cool, sorry, thanks for that. Right, off we go, up the steps. I think we're meeting with Simon in here. Look at this, no entry, or Kushner Associates only. Let's head in. Simon, good to How see you. Good to see you. Wow. Yeah, welcome. This is nice. Um, what an entrance. Absolutely. And probably spacious. very spacious. Um, so one thing that I would say about this truck versus others is if anyone's ever seen a truck before, ours is split into two halves. So we've got soft goods at the front. Okay. And then behind you there, we've got all of our clubs. Party at the back. Absolutely. Party <laughs> at the back. Yeah. Well, so. look, first off, I mean, that already will excite a lot of people. Are these all different players' gr gr yep. uh, gloves, sorry, so, yeah, and all the different got, golf yeah, balls? Yeah, we've got Stay Soft, Titleist, Pure Touch, Hyperflex, and then all of the different makes of golf balls. So we range here from 2023, 20, we've got 19, 21, and then the same for Pro V1s as well. And then we've got a couple of special editions at the bottom here. I was so, gonna say, I'm, I, is this a bit of an exclusive here? So this Pro V1 X Plus. A custom for tour golf ball. So made specifically for players that are looking for something bespoke that we can't offer in the normal golf ball. Wow. So and then in here. We've got headwear caps. behind us here. Yep. So players would generally get two or three hats a week. We're kind of stocked up for any eventuality. <laughs> so if we run out of gloves, then we've got extras here. We've got rain grips. So underneath here as well, we've got beanies, snuds. We've got double straps. We've got cart mitts, we've got rain hoods, we've got full bag covers. I'm guessing that the American version doesn't, doesn't have as much as this stuff. Not quite as much, no. Sun I cream mean, and... Oh, uh, yeah, sun cream and everything else. But being in Europe and being in Scotland this week is that these drawers have, uh, have taken a bit of use. So yeah, waterproofs at the bottom here. And I'm then... All, I'm also, sorry, I've, I've been distracted by... <laughs> The Den Caddier Tees, I'll, I'll be back for them in yeah. a little bit. And then something a little bit special this week, which we've had a collaboration with Harris Tweed. So the Harris Tweed on this is supposed to represent the postage stamp. Ah. So very nice for this week. That's a nice material. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. A bit swanky. Absolutely. Some of the players nice rocking those? A lot of players have put these in for this week, so we'll see a lot of TV time on that come... Uh, come Thursday so and then we've got a refreshment station absolutely and a snack cupboard above there that's full of wine gums you do have iron brewing of oh, course we a have iron brew. absolutely <laughs> and then what you got up, up top you say some snacks so, yeah but not wow look at this I mean it's literally everything is there any fan favorites are these fan favorites uh, wine gums and just sports I, mix can I, can please I grab do. one thank please you do. <laughs> Okay, so we've seen soft goods, caps, yep. bit of shoes, all the different types of golf yep. balls. We keep a couple of extras on here as well. So we've got Pro SLX up here. And then underneath the truck, we keep a stock of uh, Premier Fields as well. So we can take care of spiked and non-spiked options for, for players that just want to look fresh. We've got, I've noticed a bag here of last year's Open champion. I saw him returning the claret jug. Okay. This, this week yep. he was uh, looking very uh, positive mindset. Absolutely. Wow, look at this. First off, my eye catches these few bags in the corner. So we've got, are these built, ready to go out? Or are these kind these of demos? Are, these are, yeah, essentially demos. So they're made up. Um, obviously, we keep a mark as to what's in there. So that when a player comes on, if he's saying, okay, I want a square back arm lock, We've got it marked. We can easily pull out the head cover and they can put it into place. So, yeah, as you can see, this is kind of Scotty Cameron corner. So we've got the options to re-grip. We've got a machine here that, or a measuring board so we can cut. We've then behind you here, we've got loft and lie. 
and then we've got the options through these drawers here to players wow. specifics oh my goodness now this, this is what everyone then, wants to see. This, this is what the people want to see. Different grips. So again, not everyone wants to use a Scotty. So we've got Super Strokes, we've got Lampkins, Golf Prides, I've Two seen, Thumb. I was going to say, I've not seen yeah, that's for it. a while. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, yep. There's everything in there. I suppose as well, there's some players sometimes try the grips. I'm saying, you know what, it's not for me. You yep. take it off. Use exactly it that. Golf, and obviously some, some grips are heavier than others. So they might then need to reweight the bottom to make it work, etc. So yeah, it can be basically anything. So yeah, they'll go out, they'll go to the putting green, have a go and then go, no, it doesn't work, can we go back to the, not we, the original, but. Can we look back in that one again one more time? This one here? No, yep. the one, the sexy one above. Oh, okay, the one above. <laughs> That's, is there anything super special in here? What, what's, uh, there's gotta be something. I mean, obviously these are all circle, circle tees. I mean, yep, so these say, are yep. as, as rare as rare can be. Am I saying these are one of ones? Not necessarily, no. No, so we'll have a selection that are available to, to swap out, so. But I mean, these are these are for tour use only. Should not be really in the hands of anyone else apart from tour pros. I would say so. And then we kind of, we move along. So in here we've got various different shafts. So all the iron is, shafts. Yeah, all the iron shafts through different manufacturers. And then in the bottom here, we keep all of our spare heads. So you can see the different marks that we've got. They're really well presented. I'll tell you what, I did a video the other day on how popular these irons are still doing. Yep, CBs. So yeah, T100 CBs is kind of mixed sets. Uh, extremely popular. Because did they win again at the weekend? Does, does Bob McIntyre use? Yep, he's in. He's in a set. Plenty of two irons and three irons going in Plenty the bags. Plenty of two irons and three irons this week. Yep. So these have been stocked up a couple of times already, with guys trying different variations of T two hundred U five o five. Wow, they look fantastic. Very well presented. Absolutely. Cut to, be, cut to say. And then, kind of, as we move along, we've got some new putters that are going to be released in the not too distant future can we see them you can see them <laughs> i mean first off the head covers look fantastic what absolutely these? triple black triple yep. oh triple black wow oh they look and fantastic then. they look incredible any of the guys got these in the bag not this week no but from a retail perspective like i say they'll be out in the not too distant future. I love the head covers, they're really nice. Yeah, very sleek. Will someone like Scotty be here this week? Does he come over from the uh, No, so we've got Henry Byrne this week and Brad Cloak has traveled over from the PGA. So players have got a familiar uh, face to be able to work with who they would normally work with. Okay, so yeah. that's something that we would normally do from a Europe perspective as well. We'd send someone over so that they, they've got a, a regular face Grip draw, so golf prides, all the different marks of golf pride. Yeah. Are they popular multi compound? Multi -com one of the Tour more velvets. popular. Yeah, Tour Velvets is probably the most popular that we've got. And then we've kind of got in here specialised grips, so someone like Tyrrell using or was using the wedges has got that there. And we've got Super Stroke in the corner there for Jordan. The green ones. Remember who they're for? I can't remember who they're for. They're smart then. But yeah. Very smart, very good. Yep. And then kind of move you around the corner here to show you what we've got here. So Vokey Wedge Corner, as we like to call it. So in the bottom drawer here, you've got... Wow. So all of our wedges on here are raw. They're all retail grinds, or the majority are retail grinds. So the same as what you would get. And then we would use these two machines behind you here to basically take, take what is stock and then make it bespoke. So lots of, kind lots of versatile of, grinds yeah. going in this week. Yeah, lots of low bounce kind of T grinds. If it firms up a little bit, then they'll probably go into play. How, how many times would you say throughout a season would a 
player changes, wedges? So we would probably go down the ratio of four, three, two, one. So we'd have one pitching wedge. So we'd have two, yeah, two gap wedges, three wedges in terms of like your 54, 56s, and then you'd probably have four sets of 60s. Right, wow. So yeah, that would generally be how we would work it on here. And then you'd grind them down if necessary. Correct, yep. So the, the guy's best friend is normally the Sharpie pen. <laughs> so they'll take the head, they'll take the Sharpie, they'll put the Sharpie where the player wants that bit of relief. They'll come back in, manipulate it, go back out, see how it's working and again, come back in if it needs to. And genuinely, how quick is that turnaround? So to build a golf club is probably 10 to 15 minutes. To make it work, it could take half an hour to an hour. And what about even just the grind change? That's like a, grind change, a few minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes. And instantly the player gets, you know, what they need out of it. Correct, yeah, they get the feedback. The Correct, yeah, the feedback that they need. Yes, this works. If it doesn't work, we bring it back and they'll get something within a few minutes. All the stamping, I'm guessing. Yeah, all the stamping. Again, is this a week where players are, are really focusing on stamping? Or do they still say, yeah, yeah so I want my kid's name, I want my wife's name, I want to go and win it? Yeah, that kind of thing, yeah. So anything, Adrian Moronk will probably have wedges this week that are stamped with the week that we're in. So Royal Troon, I know he's had ones with like US Open, etc. So there'll be some guys that will get a fresh set of wedges where it's got that stamped on it. But yeah, most is kids' names, dogs' names, that kind of thing. So... <laughs> And then you've got, you can just colour them in, do you? Correct, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so the paint pens that you see there. And yeah, just wipe away. So good. And then over here, so we're kind of coming to now, like driver corner. So... I do like how it's like you've got the sections. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Cameron so corner and, so, and grips, etc. Yeah, so essentially on, on this side of the truck, if you want, like someone can build a set of irons. If you've then got woodwork to do, then you can come over to this side and, and build wood. So... You know, you can always have two people working pretty much all the time. So loads of different shafts. Yeah, loads of different shafts, different weights. Um, so like I say, everything is kind of in that raw form. So as you can see down the list there, you've got Future Cora, Graphite Design, Mitsubishi. And a genuine question, are players really, I know this is a generalization, they're quite geeky about the shafts, or do they just not really care? They, they put in the trust in you guys. To yeah, say. a bit, a bit fifty-fifty. Like if a player's had success with Mitsubishi, for instance, then their first instinct would probably be to go down that okay, route. Yeah. If it's been Fujikura, then it could be down that route. But ultimately, you know, we can we can see what they need, and you know the shaft profiles, and then from there you can kind of give them a couple of options. So okay, yeah. you know, whilst Mitsubishi might be something that they want to lean towards the head and shaft combination could say, well, actually, we think that this shaft would work best. As you know, there's various different tracking devices out there now that you know, can give them the numbers that they want, essentially. So uh, in here, new GT. So, yeah, I've, I've actually hit this, but not fully reviewed it just yet. Okay. Been popular, been an easy transition? Been an incredibly easy transition. And one thing, you know, is that whilst we've got contracted players, we've had a number of non-contracted players approach us to, to test drive us. So well, I noticed Adam Scott certainly had one in, in the bag yeah, recently. In, the play, in play, yep. So he spent a bit of time with us at um, our TPC centre at Woburn and, yeah, got fitted for that and obviously incredibly successful. So... I don't, I'm not, I don't know if you've got any here and if you could show them. Am I right in saying, obviously there's normally a weight panel yep. in there. Correct. Is there, a, is, there, is there a cheeky Titleist mini driver? Would that be fair to say? I haven't seen one. If there is one, I haven't seen <laughs> oh, come it. Come on, you would know. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen it. So as you can see, everything that's labelled up here is, is kind of... I think there's a drawer somewhere that says top secret. <laughs> if, if there is, I haven't seen it. So there you go. But yeah, and then fair, fairway would make up, so GT2, GT3. So we've had a couple of requests this week for kind of 18 degree five woods, 21 degree seven. So yeah. again, depending on if it gets firm, if it's windy, then they might want to mix between iron or iron or wood. So Are you seeing even in conditions like this, where obviously the open Royal True, traditionally players would switch a, a three wood out, a five, maybe not a three, but a five wood out, stick a two iron in. Correct, iron. yeah. Are you seeing a bit more of a trend where players are actually playing more lofted woods, even at the Open? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, we've had a couple, like I say, this week where they've come in and said, OK, can I see what the numbers look like with an 18, with a 21? 
just for that variation because it might not necessarily be off of the tee, but into a par five, they might need something where it's a front pin, needs to be flighted, want to see it. So yeah, like I say, it's kind of been popular. And then down this left-hand side, are these clubs ready to go out? Are these yeah, so some of, some of these are testers. So as you can see, we've got a three irons, two irons where guys maybe have tried it. And then before we build up a new one, we might be able to see the specs there and go, right, okay, well, we've got one that you can use. I and noticed then, there, there's a, there's a few clubs there for Ludwig Oberg. Yep. Has he, has he tried them, ready to go out, or are they...? I think that they are to ship home, so they're ones that he has tried but wants to do more testing with. And I noticed one just on your shoulder there, Spieth. Yep. Again, so, one that's... One that's ready to go. Oh, so, so he might this put is, this in the bag? Correct, yep. So that's a, a three iron T150, so stronger lofted. Because famously, obviously, he had this shaft in, Correct. in yep. the iron that he obviously won when he won yep. at Royal Birkdale. And he played that miraculous shot from the tour trucks, to be honest. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't have asked for a better position to play the shot from. Before we but, finish, is there anything else really, really cool that you need to show us? that my audience absolutely need to see. You've shown us lots of really great stuff. I think the triple black putters was definitely a real treat. Yep. Is there any last little nugget? If not, I'm going to go nick some teas. Nick some teas. Say bye to you. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. That was awesome. Thank you. Having a look around the Titleist tour truck. And uh, I think on my way out, I'm going to get a hand. Do we need to push that it? button? Feels like we're in a, a, a baddies layer. Thank Absolutely. you very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, let's go grab a few of these. And we'll see you next time.